Welcome back to Top 5 Water Repairs. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to use a torque wrench. So basically, a torque wrench should be used when you want to tighten something to spec. For example, you want to torque a cylinder head, you want to torque a valve cover, or you want to torque the oil pan or exhaust manifold, and so on. It's very important to properly torque something because it's simply going to prevent leakage such, such as a cylinder head leaking compression or an exhaust manifold leaking exhaust fume or the oil pan itself can leak engine oil. So these are, are some of the reasons why you should always torque a certain component specification. So what I have here is a CDI torque wrench, a subsidiary of Snap-on. And basically this is probably one of the best torque wrench I have ever used. So for this torque wrench, you can either read it in foot pound or you can also read it in Newton meters. On our front side, it is foot pound and you flip it to the other side, it will be Newton meters. As you can see here, there's a line over here and there's a line over here and over here and over here. So every time it jumps from one line to another line, that's going to be five foot pounds. So currently, as you can see, it's currently at zero, but at 10 foot pounds. So currently it is zero, but we are at 10 foot pounds. Let's just say if you have a spec that calls for 12 foot pounds, so what do you want to do? You want to push this handle down, and every time you turn one, it's going to be one foot pound. And you turn it again, it's going to be two foot pounds. So currently, we are at 12 foot pounds. So it's going to be 10 plus 2 equals 12. If you back this up, so this is 1.5, it's going to be 11.5 foot pounds. So currently, I'm at 10 foot pounds. And let's just say I want to go up to 20 foot pounds. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep rotating, rotating this until hit 20. We're at 15. Let's go one more revolution. So right there. We're exactly at 20 foot pounds. So currently we're at 20 foot pounds. And let's just say you want to tighten something up. Let's just say, for example, the exhaust manifold. What you want to do, you want to set this to tighten and you, what are you going to do, you're going to, you're going to go ahead and just keep tightening whatever you need to tighten and you'll know when to stop when it makes a loud clicking noise it's going to go click and when it clicks that's when you stop again you're going to keep on going until it clicks and when it clicks again you'll be at 20 foot pounds you're going to do the exact same thing for newton meters the procedure is exactly the same way. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Subscribe and give me a thumbs up.